Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, we certainly do thank and praise the Lord once again for how good he is and his grace and his mercy, his love that he has shown toward us. If it had not been for the Lord who is on our side, there's no telling where we would be. Amen. Oftentimes, uh, even as I was praying a few moments ago, I was uh, thanking the Lord uh, for his faithfulness. Mm -hmm. uh, the Lord is faithful. Mm -hmm. And uh, as the scripture says, uh, it's of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. We need God's mercies and we need his compassions. That's why he says, great is thy faithfulness. And it's because of God's faithfulness, we're able to continue unto this day. He supplies, he gives, he honors, he blesses. And he's the one that keeps us going. So we certainly do praise God uh, for that. And uh, any endeavor that you're in, it's the Lord you want to sustain you. You want the Lord to build the house. You want the Lord to save you. You don't want man to save you because if man saved you, then there'd be some error in it. There'd be some fault in it. You can only go but so far. Amen. But the Lord is able to save you to the uttermost and bring you out of every condition and every situation. So we certainly do thank uh, the Lord and the manifestation of his son Jesus Christ who died on the cross for our sins and has given us uh, life, liberty and allow us to pursue after happiness and that happiness is in Jesus. Thank you Lord and we certainly do thank God because we do have a hope that lies beyond the grave. I don't, I don't want to give up my hope. <laughs> don't give up your walk with the Lord uh, because it means something, uh, especially in these times, to have your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. It means something to uh, be able to, at that great day, hear him say, come my people. Yeah. Amen. That means, that means, that's what we're living for. Mm -hmm. we're, we're living to see victories. We're living to see uh, the Lord uh, make some conquering and some conquering activities. But, you know, in the end, uh, David said, I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. Mm -hmm. So we want to go before the Lord in prayer and uh, just remember uh, men and women and children everywhere from all walks of life. Don't matter who they are, or where they're from, or what they're doing, the Lord is able to save. Uh, my God, because, you know, one day we were out there, <laughs> uh, the outscarring of, of the world out of hope, but somebody prayed us in. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. And somebody was crying out uh, to the Lord for us. So it's our turn now uh, to cry out to the Lord for those that have lost their way, those that uh, the enemy is trying to consume. So let us pray also uh, tonight for the Bible study that something be said and done to encourage us, to inspire our hearts. Amen. I want to hear from the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. That's the only thing that'll give you joy and peace, that'll satisfy your soul. Jesus said, you are clean through the words which I have spoken unto you. And I need a washing. <laughs> I need a cleansing in my spirit and in my soul. You can never be too clean uh, for the Lord. <laughs> like when Peter uh, was telling Jesus, ah, oh, don't wash my feet. And Jesus said, well, if I don't wash your feet, you can't have nothing to do with it. He said, wash my whole body. Hallelujah. Ah, wash me, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. So we want to go before the Lord in prayer. If there are any other prayer requests, you can let it be known at this time. Yeah, glory. Bishop Lord. Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. Lord. We'll, uh, keep uh, Sister Manning in prayer. Yeah. Completely. Amen. We'll pray for uh, First Lady Manny. Amen. Natasha. Uh, also, remember my son Jabbar in prayer? Yes. He had to get uh, 
hip surgery, both hips mm -hmm. are really bad and everything. And uh, so the doctor is going, he's going in for surgery March the 16th. Uh huh. And six months later, you have to go do the other one. Yes. And all that football has been playing. Who on his hips? Ah, oh, man. man. That stuff come back on you, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Lord. So, yes, let us pray for him as well. And let us pray for the success of our Bible study on tonight. All right. Let the church stand. Let every heart pray. Oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. Lord, we certainly do thank you and praise you for your greatness, your mercy, your love, and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for the anointing. We thank you for the Holy Ghost power. We ask you, Lord, that you bless each and every soul that is here on today. Bless each and every request that's been made known. Lord, we know that you are the mountain mover, the burden bearer, and the heavy load sharer. We ask you, Lord, that you manifest your greatness, manifest your will, and manifest your desires in the precious and the mighty name of Jesus. Bless each and every request, Lord. Heal the sick. Deliver those, Lord, that need operations. Hallelujah. And protect from danger, seen and unseen. Save and add to the church daily, such as should be saved. And Father, we give you glory and honor and praise in the precious and the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you. Jesus' name. We want to uh, go back today uh, to the book of Ephesians uh, chapter number 4. Ephesians chapter number 4. And um, in studying this particular chapter, uh, the Lord has uh, caused me to uh, be in on a few things that he has opened up my understanding to. And he really wants us to see the great victory that Christ truly won for us. And he also wants us to see and to know and to understand. Uh, it is through that victory that he won for us that we have access to him. And having access to him, we literally have all power through him. That's why Paul said, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And um, knowing that God has done great and mighty things for us, we should in turn appreciate it by living for him. And living for him in such a way that glorifies him. The Lord wants you to glorify him in everything that you do. Everything that you do in word and deed should all be done to the glory of God in the name of Jesus. And, and God has a right, if you allow me to say it that way, to ask that of us Amen. based on everything that he has done. He purchased you with the precious blood of Jesus. You've been bought with a price. Amen? With the precious blood of Jesus. And so that's why God uh, uh, asks these things of us. And I'm getting excited because he, he also let me know, and he said, based on what I'm giving you and based on what I have provided for you, uh, all of this help, therefore I can uh, demand that you live holy. Amen? Because he said, be ye holy, for I am holy. And God is saying that he hasn't given us a defective product wherein we can attain to it. Uh, if we will and we desire to attain to it, it's not uh, Even in thy mouth, you can live holy. You can live righteously because God has provided us multitudes of help. He sent us his word. He sent us his anointing and Holy Ghost. He sent forth his son, Jesus. Amen. He sent forth helps in the body of Christ. And he's done everything and he's provided. The Bible says all things that pertain unto life and godliness. He's even given you natural things to help you to live holy. Amen, my God. Hallelujah, to provide uh, for you in everything that you need. So as we get ready to go before the Lord, uh, we certainly do praise God and, and give him honor. As we look here in Ephesians uh, chapter number 4, Thank you, Jesus. Ephesians 
chapter number four. And uh, I just want to read down through a couple verses until we get to uh, where we left off. And I'm saying these verses so that, you know, you can put it into your mind uh, what the Lord is saying unto us. He says, I therefore, Paul is talking, uh, the prisoner of the Lord beseech you that ye walk worthy of the calling or the vocation wherewith ye are called. And he's telling us how to do it. With all lowliness and meekness and with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. Notice the scripture. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, even as you are called in one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. One God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. God is in you. Hallelujah. Verse number seven. But unto every one of us, is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. So basically God is, is, is encouraging us. Amen. Uh, well, Paul is, is, is the one that's encouraging us and God is using him for us to walk worthy of the calling of our assignments. Amen. Where would we've been called? Because we've been called into one body. Uh, and what keeps you one in him and uh, God is looking for unity in the body of Christ. And unity begins with love. Amen? There has to be love. Love is the very foundation of unity in the body of Christ. And he's telling me that, that you know, got to uh, keep endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit and the bond of peace. There is one body, one spirit, one hope of your calling. Everything is one. One faith, one Lord, one baptism, one God, one Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. But notice what he said, verse number seven. But every one of us is given uh, grace, given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. We've given grace according to how God is going to use us, as according as God has gifted us. Amen. Hallelujah. So now I want to pick up now the Bible study uh, in verse number uh, eight. And then Paul says, wherefore, he said, talking about the Lord, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. And Paul is literally quoting um, a victory song, a victory song from uh, Psalms uh, 68 in verse 18. He's literally uh, uh, quoting that particular verse. And this, uh, what he's quoting is a, a victory song that a general, if you would have me, if you will, uh, that, that, that had uh, led his army and in, in, in defeated the enemy, took the spoil, and brought it back to the people and shared the wealth with the people. Now that sounds like Jesus. Jesus literally, uh, 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 the Bible tells us he gained the victory over the devil. Amen? Didn't he? He gained the victory over the devil and, 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 and took back everything that the devil stole from us. And, and, and literally gave it back to us. That's, that's, that's the thought here that's going on in the scriptures. And I want to make two very important points out of this. Is that we have to realize that uh, in our minds, this is what, if you're going to walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you've been called, you've got to realize that the victory is won in Jesus. That, that, can't, that can't be a question in your mind. That, that, that the, the devil is defeated, God is exalted, and Jesus Christ is Lord. 
and, and every battle that you go out and fight after this, uh, you've got to realize that he's already attained the victory for me in the name of Jesus. Yeah. That the battle doesn't belong to you, but the battle belongs to the Lord. Yeah. So therefore, in every avenue or any uh, temptation or any trial that you encounter, you've got to realize and recognize that the victory is already won. And, and, and the second point is, is that the Lord has gifted you. He has anointed you. He has given you what you need uh, to overcome the enemy, to overcome every test, every trial, every temptation that should come upon you. Amen? Hallelujah. That's what it meant when he said he led captivity captive. He captivated everything that could captivate you. Uh, and then in turn, he gave you a gift. <laughs> Hallelujah. And with that gift he's given you, especially the Holy Ghost, he expects you to subdue uh, everything. Hallelujah. That, that could try to overtake you. Everything that should try to tempt, tempt you. Uh, everything. He, 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 he requires that of you to use what you got. Hallelujah. To subdue and, and bring Notice, every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Amen? Hallelujah. He expects that of you. Now notice, notice what he said. He says, uh, whereof he said, when he ascended up on high, uh, he led captivity captive and gave good gifts unto men. When he ascended up on high, Christ has ascended up on high, meaning that he's literally sitting at the, uh, 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 the right hand of God at his throne. Amen? He, he is far above principalities and powers. Amen? Thank you, Lord. And he's literally seated in a position of power and authority. And, and what power and authority is working here on this earth is the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is the authority and the power that's working here upon this earth, controlled by Jesus. Amen? Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost activates and, 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 is, and is willed by Christ. And the Holy Ghost reveals Christ in you. The Holy Ghost leads you and guides you into all the truth that Jesus manifested here on this earth. Amen? Uh, I just want you to think just this for a moment. When you look at the Old Testament, the Old Testament, God was ruling in the Old Testament. And, and toward the end of the Old Testament, Jesus Christ came. Amen? Amen. He, and he manifested himself here upon this earth. Doctrine and teaching. Amen? The Holy Ghost was in him. Am I right? Hallelujah. He was led by the Holy Ghost, wasn't he? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And, and the Holy Ghost was, was, was in him. And while the Holy Ghost was in him, Jesus was manifesting miracles, signs, and wonders, wasn't he? Hallelujah. Showing forth glory and honor to the Father. And then Jesus made this statement himself. He said, I got to go away. Uh, and if I don't go, uh, the Holy Ghost can't come. Hallelujah. And he said, if I go, I'll send them back to you. Uh, and when he said, I'll send them back to you, he was referring to uh, uh, that when the Holy Ghost comes and he abides in you, you'll do greater works. Hallelujah. Than what you see me doing. Hallelujah. You, my God. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost, thank you, Lord, is, is ministering in us and through us so that we can manifest the works of Christ. Amen? Yeah. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. So that's why Christ had to ascend up on high. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. And that's why he gave good gifts unto men. Thank you, Lord. And, and, and the Holy Ghost is here with us in this earth, yeah. uh, in this earth realm, manifesting the works of Christ uh, so that we can be led. Uh, that's why you need the Holy Ghost. Uh, that's why you need the Spirit of God. That's why he said that, that the God and the Father and the Holy Ghost, they operate as one. 
Huh? And, and, and notice then, notice, I want y'all to catch this. Yeah. That's why we should operate as one in him. Yeah. Hallelujah. There's no division. No, uh, no separation. No. Uh, that's why I got to walk with all lowliness uh, and humbleness. Yeah. Because, yeah. because in my mind, I may not agree with Christ. Right. Uh, I might not agree with what he told me to do. But because I don't agree, don't make it right. Uh, and therefore, I gotta humble myself. Uh, <laughs> I mean, just because I don't believe, I gotta still humble myself. Uh, uh, because I know that He's right. Uh, his way is true. Hallelujah. Uh, just because I don't believe, uh, man, uh, if I don't agree with Jesus, don't mean that I should rebel against Him. Uh, uh, come on here, somebody. Because uh, I gotta be one with Him. Uh, in Him we live. In him we move. In him we have our being. So I got to humble myself. Huh? And, and I got to pray, Lord, help my mind. Huh? Because a double-minded person is unstable in all his ways. I got I to gotta say, Lord, help me. Huh? Help me, Lord, because, because, because I want to do right and I want to be right. Amen. There's a difference between doing right and being right. <laughs> oh, yeah, hallelujah. You want to be both. Hallelujah, my God, my God, my God. So, so the importance is us being one with him. Yeah. Huh? Because the Father is one with Christ, and, and the Holy Ghost is one with, with, with Christ, and we have to be one with Christ. Yeah. Amen? Amen? And there's no division. No. There's no separation. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Now, Jesus, when he was teaching, he said it this way. He said, if your eye be single, uh, how great is the light that is in you? Uh, but if your eye be uh, not single, be divided, how great is the darkness that's in you? Wait, in a nutshell, what Jesus was saying, as long as we see eye to eye, you're full of light. Uh, but when you take your eye off of me and don't see eye to eye with me, then you're full of darkness. Uh, uh, I mean, you're full of the enemy. You're full of evil. Amen. Hallelujah. So you gotta you gotta keep your eye on Jesus because He's the light. He's the light of the world. The light of every man that cometh into the world. And that light is His teaching. Amen. His doctrine. Amen. You gotta line up with the teaching and the doctrine of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. That's why He said He gave gifts. Uh, he gave good gifts unto me. Man, y'all with me? Yeah. Hallelujah. Y'all, let's, let's move on. Notice what he said. Verse number nine. He said, now he uh, ascended. He went up high. Mm -hmm. huh? And uh, what is it? But that he also, what? Descended first into the lower parts of the earth. Now, uh, uh, there's two thoughts on that. And, you know, I can agree with both of them. <laughs> Uh, the, the one thought is, is that, you know, Christ was uh, 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 rich. The Bible talks about him being rich in heaven, and he became poor for our, our sake. So some people say, well, he descended, you know, from, from, from the position that he was, took on the form of a man uh, uh, and, 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 and saved the world. That's all he did, <laughs> which is a lot. Amen. Uh, that's supposed to have been funny. Y'all should have laughed. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but, uh, uh, and also, the scripture talks about when he died, uh, he descended in the lower parts of the earth and he preached, amen, to the gospel to them that were held in captivity. Amen. And, and, and him preaching of that gospel and, and uh, that, that they were judged by the gospel by their faith. Amen. I'm talking about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all those in, that, that lived holy. Amen. Amen. That died. Thank you, Lord. And, and, and he released them from their captivity. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And, and, and ascended back with them with him when he went into paradise. Amen. So we see here then, um, verse number nine. Notice. 
It said, oh, I read that. Verse number 10, he that descended is also the same that ascended uh, far above all heavens. Amen. He ascended up above all heavens that he might what? Fill all things. Fill all things. Now, I want you to go with me over here uh, to Ephesians chapter number 1. Amen. And verse 19, it says, And what is the exceeding greatness of his power toward us word who believe, according to the working of his mighty power, which God the Father wrought in Christ when he raised him from where? The dead. When he got up from the dead and sat him at his own right hand in heavenly places. This is where Jesus is located. Amen? Notice, when he talked about him fulfilling all things, verse 21, he says, far above principalities. Principalities are, are, are government rules. Here is, is spiritual uh, 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 rulers and 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 and, and uh, spiritual. The Bible talks about it. Uh, uh, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers. Amen? Amen. Against against rulers of darkness in this world. So he's literally showing, telling to tell you that Jesus is literally uh, uh, seated above all the governments of the devil. Amen? It has uh, authority over the devil. Amen. Amen? And all of his power. Amen? Amen? Now notice, he's saying far above principalities and powers and mights and dominions. They're talking about where the, the areas that the enemy rules over. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. The enemy has no power over you if you are in Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen? No power. He has no dominion no authority over you if you are in Christ Jesus. Uh, this is the victory that he has won. Now notice, uh, 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 not only in this world, in this age, but also in the age which to come. Hallelujah. And, and, and that age which to come is, is what's going to happen after the rapture. You follow me? Now notice, and have put all things under his feet. Uh, the victory is already won. All things are under the feet of Jesus. Of Jesus. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. Amen. Every enemy is subdued under the feet of Jesus. Yeah. That's why Paul says we are without excuse. Because <laughs> Jesus, he, when he died and rose again, he took every excuse. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, that, 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 that we could use not to be victorious. Yeah. Amen? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Now, now I'm going somewhere. Y'all be with me. Y'all stay with me okay. when we get there. You'll know when we arrive <laughs> if you just stay with me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I know that's what he said. And I put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things uh, uh, to the church. Huh? Amen? Jesus is the head. Uh, of all things to us. And what a very fine head. Hallelujah. Because he alone has all this power. He alone has all this anointing. Uh, uh, we used to sing a song. He's a mighty good savior. Amen. Amen. Uh, he's a mighty good counselor. Isn't he? Hallelujah. He's wonderful. Isn't he? Uh, he's our prince of peace. Isn't he? Uh, he's our strength, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, he's a friend that's sticking closer than a brother. Uh, he's one that can be touched with the feelings of our infirmities and our weaknesses. Uh, he knows, doesn't he? Uh, he knows. That's why, hallelujah, that he became like us. Uh, because he knows. Hallelujah. Uh, so, so, that, so that whatever we're enduring, whatever we go through, Hallelujah, that, that, that he was, uh, 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 he tasted death for everybody. Yes, he did. Hallelujah. You follow me? Uh -huh. We got the Holy Ghost with measure. Yeah. He has the Holy Ghost without measure. Uh -huh. 
Hallelujah. Why? Because he tasted death for everybody. Hallelujah. And, and because he tasted death for everybody, he knows how the scripture says to succor us. Amen. Which means he knows how to rescue us. Hey, hey, hey. Um, that's why we shouldn't worry about trouble. That's why we shouldn't worry about the hand of the enemy. Um, we should stay focused on Jesus. We should be like, oh, we, sir, as we would see Jesus, uh, who was made a little lower than the angels, crowned with glory and honor. Uh, he was crowned with glory and honor for the suffering of death. That he, by the grace of God, he would taste death for every man. Why? Because one day he was going to be the fullness of everything that we need. Uh, if, if it ain't in Jesus, you don't need it. If it ain't in Jesus, you shouldn't go after it. Huh? If it ain't in Jesus, it won't satisfy your soul. Because everything that's in Jesus, it satisfies. His joy, he supplies. He makes life worth living. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. This was what Paul was saying. Notice what he's saying. Thank you, Jesus. And have put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all the church. Amen? Uh, over all things to the church. Jesus is in charge. He's large and he's in charge. <laughs> hey, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. But you know what, what I love about him? I just, this is just a sidebar. He's large and in charge, but he don't mind sharing with you. Huh? He don't mind sharing his authority with you. He don't mind sharing his word with you. He don't mind sharing his spirit with you. He don't mind sharing his mind with you. Yeah. Uh, he don't mind sharing his inheritance with you. Yeah. Uh, his, his victory with you. Yeah. Hallelujah. He don't mind. He don't mind calling you. Hallelujah. His fellow brethren. Yeah. Uh, glory. Hallelujah. He don't mind that. Hallelujah. My yeah. God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Not selfish. Mm -hmm. uh, some people are like, man, I got it. I'm, I'm going to keep it to myself. Uh, but Jesus, he don't mind sharing. No, he don't. Amen? For this cause was he made manifest. Yes, yes. Amen? For, so he can destroy the works of the devil in your life. Yes. Hallelujah. Now notice, verse, verse 23. Here it is. Which is his body, uh -huh. uh, which we are a part of. Yes. Uh, the fullness of him that uh, fill, fulfilleth, that filleth what? All in all. Amen. When you in Christ Jesus, uh -huh. amen, you in Christ Jesus, and you are a part of his body, you, you really possess the fullness of God, yeah. which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. In other words, while you are operating in Christ, uh -huh. there is nothing that you lack. Uh -huh. Amen. There's nothing that you lack. Uh, if you don't have it, ask for it. If you don't have it, seek for it. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and whatever you ask for, you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. Amen. Hallelujah. And he's, and he's gained you access to it. Uh, when, when Jesus died, as he was dying, the Bible says the, the curtain was ripped in twain. Hallelujah. From the top to the bottom. Uh, that's showing forth the strength and the power. Just think about a curtain. Uh, think about a rug. Hallelujah. That, that a strong man has. And he rips that rug open. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's what Jesus did. And opened up the way for you and I. Uh, so now we can come boldly to the throne of grace. That we might obtain grace and find grace to help us in our time of need. Hallelujah. That we might obtain mercy. And find grace to help us in our time of need. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. You got to believe these things. Yes, yes. Amen? Amen? These things have to become a part of you. Yes. Because this is the truth. This is the scripture. This is the word of God. Now the enemy is going to try to try to take these things from you. Huh? But you got to fight for them. Amen. The enemy will try to try to put a lie in your heart. Amen. But you got to fight for it. Amen. That's why he said, take the shield of faith huh, and quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Hallelujah. You got to, you, my God, you got to fight. You got to fight to believe truth. You got to fight to believe holiness and righteousness. That's what it means by contending for the faith, huh, which was once delivered unto the saints. Uh, you got to 
to contend. Do I got any contenders in the house? Hallelujah. Do I got any contenders in the house? Hallelujah. That's willing to fight. Hallelujah. Fight for what's right. Hallelujah. You got to fight to keep your mind straight. You got to fight to keep your mind holy. You got to fight to keep your, your spirit under, under control. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and you got to realize that this victory it was given to you in Christ Jesus. Amen. Uh, how many of y'all believe that? Amen. Hallelujah. This victory is in Jesus. There's no other name given under heaven whereby men must be saved. Uh, but, but other than the name of Jesus. And now, the Bible says, as we let's go back over, as we talked about the fullness. Amen. Everything you need is in Jesus. He is the fullness. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you. Um, uh, uh, Ephesians, back over to Ephesians chapter 4 and verse number 10. All right? And he said, and he descended, and he that descended is the same also that ascended far above all heavens that he might feel all things. Amen. Now notice uh, the diction. Uh, he said, Far above all heavens. Uh, there's multiple heavens. Amen? Amen? Thank you, Lord. And heavens represents dominions, represents powers, represents authorities. And Jesus, uh, he, he went above all of them, and he is now fulfilling all in all. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Now, the Bible says, as we get ready to move to this next few verses. The Bible talks about that if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Uh, all old things have what? And behold, all things have become what? New. Amen? And that new creature, uh, it literally means that, that you have become a new being. When you get into Christ, you should not be like you used to be. Amen? Amen? Your desires should not be like your old desires. That's right. Amen? Amen. And your ways should not be like your old ways. No, it shouldn't be. Huh? No. Thank you, Lord. And, and, and now you have a, a new appetite. Amen. You should have a new desire. When, when, I, when the Lord first saved me, uh -huh. um, I couldn't get enough of the Word of God. When uh, reading His Word, uh -huh. uh, wanting to be in Bible study, wanting to be in every service, a uh, 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 preaching service, and, 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 and every, every prayer service. Why? Because I had a new desire. Right. When you have a new desire, things should change. Amen. 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 And and that new creature, uh, uh, it, it it has uh, uh, how can you say it? Lord, help me, in Holy Ghost. It has it has new desires as well. Right. Yeah. Before I got saved, I couldn't care less about Bible class. Right. I couldn't care less about the Word. All I cared about was sinning. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Amen. That's what compelled me. Huh? But when you get into Christ, you want to leave sinning alone. That's right. uh, and now all you care about is righteousness. Right. All you care about is holiness. Yes. Huh? Because you realize without the witch, no man shall see the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. So, so, so therefore, uh, uh, in order to make that change, because Paul put it so eloquently, he said, he said, uh, uh, to will to do is there, but there's also a will in me that wants to do evil. Mm -hmm. That's that's warring against my flesh. Right. Amen. Uh, uh, and, and he said, I really want to do what's right, but there's something there that's warring against me. Mm -hmm. Amen. And and in order for you to literally uh, make the full transformation uh, in your mind, you have to be taught. Amen. You need the word of God right. so, so you can be taught the word. That's right. Amen. Amen. You need you, my God. You need some teaching. That's right. Amen. 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 Am I right? You need some teaching. Amen. Thank you, Lord. If you if 
you go, if you're gonna walk worthy of your vocation, you have to be taught. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And and this is what the Lord was 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 really uh, referring to in these next next several verses. Notice what he said. He said, uh, verse number eleven, and he gave some. Uh huh. When he talked about he led captivity captive and gave good give, gifts unto men, he's really referring to this fivefold ministry. He gave it to you. Okay. Amen. So that so that because you are a new creature, he realized how important what transforms you. Be not conformed, but be what? By the renewing of your mind. Uh, so that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So he, he the Bible says, he gave some. Uh, some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and some teachers. For what purpose? For the perfecting of the saints. Uh, to help you to grow. To help you to become mature. Uh, so you don't have to walk around baby yourself. Uh, when, when people offend you, you want to throw in the towel. You want to give up. Uh, hallelujah. You, you got uh, this teaching the word of God gives you a backbone. Make it, take away that jelly back. Uh, heck out of old shot. You need a backbone. Uh, and the word of God becomes your backbone. Hallelujah. You know how to war. You know how to fight. You know what you got. Huh? Once you are taught what you got, huh? you don't throw, you don't cast it away. Huh? You won't be like Esau. Give away your birthright huh? for a bowl of soup. Hallelujah. For fleeting moments of pleasure. Hallelujah. For, for a temper tantrum or a fit. I had kind of a shot. Hallelujah. You, you, you be angry, but you sin not. Uh, come on here, somebody. Uh, you, don't, you don't allow the enemy uh, to stop your blessing. Uh, people talk about you, you say, so what? They talk about Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You don't, you don't, you, just because uh, 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 they're trying to offend you, you don't become offended in Jesus. Amen. Uh, you don't. You not a, hear one day say uh, and go the next three weeks. Yeah. Amen. You out. You out the next three weeks okay. uh, for no reason at all. Uh -huh. You could have had a great, glorious service at the church, yeah. uh, praising and worshiping God. Yeah. Amen. But 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 because uh, 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 you didn't allow that word to continue in you, right. you absent for the next three weeks. Huh? Well, that's like desertion, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. You deserted the Lord. Yeah. And then and then this is how people are. They so they so my God, y'all, can I just talk for a moment? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they so they so uh caught up with themselves, they come back after they have missed three, four weeks of church and act like they super hyper spiritual. Yeah. Lose here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, lose here. Yeah. Uh, if you ain't walking with God, huh, and, 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 uh, and my, I'm going to put it like this. Thank you, Lord. Uh, I'm trying to do all I can uh, and, uh, to live holy. Thank you, Lord. I know that some days I ain't hyper super spiritual uh, because, you know, there's testing trials that come upon you. Uh, there's things that lay upon you. Hallelujah. That, that try to drain you. Uh, and you can't get strong being away from Jesus. You can't be powerful if you ain't got your mind stayed on him. Uh, kind of shot. People want to fool themselves. Uh, but you ain't fooling me. You ain't fooling God. And you ain't fooling the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. My Lord. Loose here. Hallelujah. My God. My God. That's my fit for the day. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. My God. My God. Now, the Lord said here, notice what he said. Hallelujah. Verse number 11. And he gave some. He gave some. Who gave them? The Lord. The Lord. Amen. And, and what he gave here is all New Testament. 
New Testament apostles. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. The, the apostles that he gave, he gave the 12. Amen. And one of them was a devil. And he got uh, replaced by uh, Matthias. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the Lord added uh, Paul. Amen. The apostle Paul. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Barnabas was an apostle. Yes. Uh, if you really want to study your scriptures and get into it. Uh, and these are New Testament apostles. Yeah. You follow me? Thank you, Lord. And, and, and uh, when you're looking at uh, what an apostle does, an apostle brings forth a message. And the, the message was new. The message was Jesus Christ, the gospel of Jesus Christ. All the apostles preached preach Christ and him crucified. Amen? And these apostles, they, they also are anointed. Uh, if you read the scriptures uh, about Paul and about Peter and, and about the apostles, they, they were given power over the devil. They rebuked spirits. Yes, they, did. they laid hands on the sick. Yeah. Uh, you saw miracle signs and wonders. Amen. Because they were operating in their apostolic authority. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. By God. We, 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 we gospel believers, but we're apostolic in authority. <laughs> Y'all catch that later. Hallelujah. We apostolic in authority. Amen. Apostolic in power. Amen. Apostolic in doctrine. Amen. Because the apostles, they laid the foundation of of Jesus Christ. Amen. Y'all with me? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. My God. And you know, um, uh, uh, the scripture says here, then he gave some prophets. Uh -huh. And notice, he said he gave some prophets. Uh, these prophets are not Old Testament prophets no. that he's talking about. Uh, he's talking about New Testament prophets. Yeah. Amen. Amen. There are prophetic, the anointing, the Holy Ghost moves upon people today to give them a prophetic utterance. Amen? Hallelujah. Y all, y all, I don't know if y'all believe me or not. I ain't getting no amen. <laughs> but, but there are New Testament prophets. Amen? The scripture bears it out. If you were to, if you were to look into these things, the Old Testament prophets, they didn't know about Jesus. They inquired about him. They prophesied about him, but never did have a full revelation of him. Amen. New Testament prophets, Paul brings it out that the mystery of Christ has been made known unto us. Hallelujah. So, so, so New Testament prophets, they preach and teach about Jesus. They connect the Old Testament. Hallelujah. It was a type and a shadow with the new. Uh, and be able to prophesy unto you, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Hallelujah. They, they, their, their ministry is not about doom and gloom. Amen. It's about warning. It's about rebuke. Hallelujah. But it's not about a doom and gloom ministry. Hallelujah. It's, it's a ministry about what, what Christ has done for you. Uh, what, what the Lord is working with you on. Amen. Uh, there's some people, uh, my God, y'all help me here. Hey, even in this room right now, uh, can, uh, uh, God can give them a vision and a dream about you. Call you up on the phone. Hallelujah. And tell you what thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah. And be true and hit the nail on the head. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why? Because God has given them that insight. Uh, God has given them that wisdom and revelation. So that they can perfect you. Yes. Amen. Yes. So that they can help you. Hallelujah. Y'all with me? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank now listen here. I want y'all to listen. Okay. If you ever encounter a, 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 a great man or a woman walking with God and they call you and, and tell you uh -huh. uh, what God has showed them and God has already showed it to you, uh -huh. you better believe it and receive it and walk in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen? Because God is not a man that he should lie. Nor the son of man that he should repent. Now God does these things to manifest his will in your life. To encourage you. To inspire you. Because there's great forces that are trying to come up against us. But God is combating the forces with his prophets. So you better believe it. The Lord will confirm it first in your mind. 
one of his prophets come to confirm what he's already said. And if that happens to you, you better believe God. You better believe his word. You better stand on it. You better act and do what God has told you to do. You better be encouraged. That's going to go shut the That's going to go shut the Preaching this gospel. That's right. Amen. That's their job. Yeah. Preach the gospel. Amen. Amen. Determine not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and him crucified. Amen. 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 And they, they, they come around to preach the gospel. Uh, not to pastor the church. No. Amen. But to energize the church. Right, right. You know a true evangelist have been by when they, everybody's weeping the first night, crying the first night. Hallelujah. Said, woe is me the first yeah. night. The second night, uh -huh. uh, they, they, he building them up or she building them up. And the third night, they on fire. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And, and redo. re Re-energize. Amen. Revive in their spirit. That's right. Want to go out and slay everything. Yeah. Want to live holy. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thanking God that yeah. God God sent him a word that renewed their soul. That, that he sent him a word to heal them. Amen. And to deliver. That's an evangelist. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. Sometimes we in need of revivals. Amen. And, and revivals ain't for sinners. If you allow me to say it this way. Evangelists can preach to sinners too. Don't get me wrong. But re re revivals are for those that, that, that were alive, that's what revive. That means if I'm reviving you, that means you was alive, you were alive at one time. <laughs> you follow me? Uh, you can't revive uh, something that ain't been alive. Hey, come on in, somebody. Hey, come on, shut. Hallelujah. And some from time to time, we need revive. 
Uh, because because situations come upon us. Uh, don't don't lie to yourself. Uh, 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 situations come upon you. If you didn't need it, he wouldn't put it in the body. Huh? My God. Sometimes we don't want to take advantage of what we need. Uh, if I need it, Lord, help me. Huh? Lord, if I need it, strengthen me. Uh, be first. That's how you got to be first. Uh, Lord, save me. Uh, hallelujah. Hey, come on, Shandala Basha. Come on and give God a praise. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That's what Paul was saying when he said, Walk worthy of your vocation. If God has given you the assignment to, 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 to be a prophet, to be an evangelist, then he said, uh, uh, Pastors, uh -huh. amen, and teachers. Uh, uh, I'm a pastor. Right. Amen. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord. And and pastors and teachers, I heard two different teachings, you know, talking about the same person, but this also could be uh, different offices. You got people who are strictly teachers that are not pastors. Right. That's true. Amen. That's true. That's true. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And and pastors, they they operate differently. They oversee the church. Yeah. Uh, shepherds. Come on here, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on in. Uh, you need somewhere to graze. Uh, you need somewhere to, to survive. Amen. Hallelujah. You need somewhere to, 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 be, to be corrected, to be straightened out. Uh, you need that. Don't you need that? Uh, you need somewhere to, to, to help perfect your gift. Amen. What God has given you. Just because he saved you don't mean, and he called you to be an evangelist, don't mean that uh, you got saved and now you out running being an evangelist. You got to learn. That's right. You got to be taught. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's the job of the pastor and the teacher. That's right. Amen. Hey, Amen. Amen. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Come on here, somebody. Hey, Thank you, Lord. Yeah. And, and because... Because the Lord gave these gifts. I'm going to try to hear me. Because the Lord gave these gifts, we ought to submit ourselves to them. That's right. That's true. Amen? Amen. We ought to submit ourselves to them. That's what brings about unity. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Y'all yeah. with me? Yeah. I'm the pastor, and I say, um, Mother Davis is going to teach tonight. I'm the pastor. Uh -huh. I'm delegated. Okay. Mother Davis is going to teach tonight. Mm -hmm. Some people get up. Cool. See you later. <laughs> they out of order. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Out of order. Yeah. Yeah. You follow me? Yeah. That's not submitting yourself. That's not trusting your pastor. You follow me? Amen. Amen. I say, well, uh, Sister Yolanda is going to uh, give the instruction about uh, how we're going to take care of this issue or this problem or this condition. This is how we're going to go to her to, to, to get your instructions about what you need to do to help this den go on. Okay. I ain't listening to her. Right. Pastor, I listen to you. Do you really? No. Do you really? No. That's out of order. That's out of order. That causes division. Disunity. You need to be perfected. <laughs> and, and when those things are exposed like that, Whenever you walk with the Lord and those things are exposed, you don't ignore it. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Don't ignore the warning signs. Mm -hmm. You follow me? Uh -huh. You do something about it. If I say to you, uh, Mother Davis is going to teach the class, and then you get a, a, a knot in your stomach, 
That's a sign that you automatically need to repent. Huh? That you need to go on a 30-day fast, huh? Or or you gonna be swept away. That's a sign. You follow me? Don't ignore the sign. You follow me? A lot of people ignore the signs. Now, he gave these gifts. That's right. Huh? Unto men. See, I'm operating in my pastoric now. <laughs> he gave these gifts unto us. Uh -huh. All right? Y'all with me? Uh -huh. Notice what he said. Uh, he gave some what? Apostles, some pat, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, and teachers for what? For the perfecting of the saints, for the what? For the, for the work of the ministry. For the edifying of the body of Christ. All right, now, I talked about restoring, mm -hmm. didn't I? Mm -hmm. Reviving. Mm -hmm. What this scripture here means when he says for the perfecting of the saints, mm -hmm. he's literally talking about God sent this ministry to you uh -huh. to put you back in order. We were all alive in God before Adam sinned. We all died in Adam. Jesus came to revive us all and restore us back to our rightful position with God. That's a little deep right there. Yeah, amen. amen. We was out of order. God sent this, this five-fold ministry to put every joint back into its place. Mm -hmm. To put every saint back into its place. To restore you with the glory that God had with you before the foundation of the world. Y'all with me? Yeah. That's, how, that's how powerful and uh, what great job uh, we are to the body of Christ. Thank you, Lord. If you submit yourself to God's government, his five-fold ministry, you can be restored back to your original purpose, mm -hmm. the original plan. Thank you, Amen? Amen? You can be holy. Amen. <laughs> Come on here, somebody. That's what that perfecting is. Not only maturing, but being holy. Huh? Like, like, like with the glory that you had with the Father before the world began. Shama. Hallelujah. Don't, don't you want to be like that? Huh? Remember, God had a plan. Huh? God, God is, God is moving and trying to move us to his plan. Yes. 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 Amen. Amen. So we've got that order when we when we when Adam sinned, uh -huh. he fell. Amen. Amen. And because Adam sinned, the world got out of order. Huh? The Bible says this. He said, uh, 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 through one man's sin, uh, 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 sin uh, through one man's disobedience, sin entered into the world. Through one man's obedience, <laughs> only life entered into the world. Through, through Jesus Christ's obedience. Hallelujah. I come on, shot. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, a righteousness entered back into the world. Holiness entered back into the world. Uh, power entered back into the world. Uh, uh, in other words, be Adam dethroned us. Jesus, hallelujah, he died on the Christ, on the cross to reestablish us. Hallelujah. That's why he said walk worthy. Uh, because you reestablish now. Uh, that's why I say walk worthy because you have dominion now. Uh, that's why I say walk worthy because now you're in his likeness. Yeah. Hey, come on, 
Yahusha. Now you have power. Now you can speak. Now you can walk by faith and not by sight. Hallelujah. Now huh, you're beneficial to God. Hallelujah. You, were, you was out of place. Uh, did you feel out of place when you were in the world? Uh, everybody that's in Christ should have felt out of place when they were in the world. Uh, misfits. Didn't, didn't God, that, uh, nobody wanted you. But when you got into Christ, your bones was realigned. You became bone of his bones. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. You, be, you received his anointing. You received his word. You received his mind. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You received his joy. Hallelujah, my God. Hallelujah. The fullness of Christ. My God, you know, you can get so anointed, you can feel that fullness. Uh, you can get so anointed, you get beside yourself. Hey, hallelujah. I dare you to go on a 30-day seeking after Christ, uh, praying every day for a half hour a day, calling on his name, reading his word. Uh, you, you'll be a changed individual. Hey, hallelujah. Now that's a 30-day challenge. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. You know, by the, by the fifth day, you'll probably be beside yourself. You be say, this thing is sweeter than honey. <laughs> in the honey call. Hallelujah, my God. All right, we got to move on. Let us move on. Can we move on? Yes. All right, now notice. He said, he said, for the perfecting of the saints. Now, I just explained what that perfecting is. So, literally, that perfecting really means not, not just maturing you, but really reestablishing you to the original order of God. Amen? That's what Christ does for you. He reestablishes you. And that original order, if we were to go back to Ephesians chapter number one, read those first five verses, you'll see what I'm talking about. It talks about uh, what God's plan was and what you were in him. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. For that order. Now notice, for the perfecting of the saints. Now notice, he gave, he gave, he gave them also for the work of the ministry. Amen. When you get into Christ, you haven't come over here to be at ease in Zion. Amen. He's given you a ministry and he wants you to work it. Amen. That's why I was talking about people being absent from duty. Uh, AWOL, absent without leave. You follow me? You got to work your ministry. If you understand the power and the purpose of your ministry in Christ, you'll understand how valuable it is. Amen? You know, I'll say it like this. This will probably help us. Some of us look at, if I lose my job, I'll lose everything. Some people look at it like that. If I lose my job, I'll lose everything. Amen? You got to look at it as if I lose my ministry in Christ, I'll lose everything. That's right. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen? That's your job. Huh? That's, that's more important. Isn't it? Uh, because Whatever God has assigned you to do, he's also attached every provision that you need to do it. Amen? And, and look at it this way. Lord, help me here, Holy Ghost. That, that if God wants me to live in Mill Creek, and that's where he's established all my blessings, I decide I want to live in Northeast, and, I, and, I, and I'm just surviving. <laughs> I'm just making bills and ends meet huh? because I'm out of place you follow me if I just moved over to Mill Creek then I'd be thriving huh? I have everything I need right you follow me 
So that's what your ministry is. Your ministry is the place where God has blessed you. With all the blessings. As the scripture says, he provided everything you need according to life and godliness. That's connected to your ministry, your work. You follow me? Hallelujah. Y'all understand what I'm saying? And I got I to gotta attach myself to the work. Amen? The work of the ministry. Whatever the assignment is. If God called you, I'm just saying, God called you to be the, an Uber driver. Amen? Mm -hmm. your, your whole life will be blessed yeah. by driving the Uber. That's true. Huh? That's true. You follow me? Mm -hmm. yeah. People get in your car just give you thousands of dollars because yeah. you're riding them around counseling them. <laughs> hey. Giving them no word. They say, what's, what's your cash app? <laughs> huh? Huh? What's your... What's, Get, write you a check. You follow me? Amen. And all you're doing is driving that Uber, counseling people, telling them about Jesus. Yeah. God supplying them. Yeah. Your children going to Harvard. And you driving, you driving an Uber. <laughs> Come on in. God will do it. He takes the foolish things. <laughs> to confound the wise. Just because you're faithful to the word. <laughs> So, Mother Louise. I was, gonna, I was thinking as you were talking, and that's where your joy lies. Yes. yes. You know your happiness comes from obeying God. Yes. If you're supposed to go to Mill Creek and live here in North East, you can be just making it. But right. When you, when you move to Mill Creek, you got joy, unspeakable joy. But you're do, plus you're blessed to continue to flow. Yes. Uh, you know, so because you're doing what he said you do, so you're happy when you obey God. Absolutely. How many of y'all believe that? Amen. Uh, that's what happiness is. Amen. The joy of the Lord joy becomes your strength. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. I've been, I got me some uh, e-books, and I'm listening to them, and you know they're talking about millionaires, billionaires. Mm -hmm. They made all that money. No, no, not happy. Gave up the job so that they can uh, do service for people. That's what gives them happiness. Amen. You follow me? Uh -huh. <laughs> money ain't everything. Bible says money is all. It's the answer to all. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. But but you gotta find out where God wants you to be. Yeah. What he wants you to do. Amen. That's what'll give you that happiness. Right. Amen. That's true. Amen. That's Y'all with me? Yeah. So 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 part of the five-fold ministry is to help with the work of the ministry. Yes. Amen? That's the work, the load. The pastors, the prophets, the evangelists, the apostles, they, 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 they help bear the load. But Paul said, he that desires an office of a bishop, he desires a what? A good work. <laughs> Amen? So work. Mm -hmm. You're a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. You got to put in the work. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. There's a, uh, a new movie out. Oh, Jesus. Uh, with Superman. Uh, now he's supposed to marry uh, Lois Lane. And they got uh, two children. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I don't know how that's going to work. But... In the movie, Superman is still Superman. Mm -hmm. And um, Lois Lane was complaining to her dad about Superman not being there, you know, for family dinners because he out saving the world. <laughs> you follow me? And her dad said, you know, uh, Lois, uh, you, you married Clark Kent. But you also knew he was Superman. <laughs> you follow what I'm saying? He had to work. Got to work to do. Follow? Uh, you got to work to do. That <laughs> come on, shot. You, you, may not, you may feel like so and so, but Christ in you. When you marry Jesus, you got to work. Yeah, right. You 
know, you know, you know, you can't be ordinary. Sometimes I say, Lord, why don't I just be sit on the pew and just be ordinary today? Lord said, you're not ordinary. I didn't call you to be ordinary. Huh? You're not ordinary. He didn't call you to be ordinary. <laughs> Come on, give God a praise. Huh? Thank you, Lord. You, 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 just think about it. How does he describe you? He said that you are royal priesthood. You're a chosen generation. You're a holy nation. Huh? You're a peculiar treasure. Now that's not ordinary. He, Christ, he died for you. That's not ordinary. You haven't been redeemed by an ordinary love. <laughs> that come on, shot. That spirit that dwelleth in you. That's not ordinary. Hallelujah. The things that you can do if you follow after Christ is not ordinary. Hallelujah. Uh, Peter was following him and he walked on water. That's not ordinary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You're not ordinary. Amen. Don't, don't look to be ordinary. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. Look to do the work. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Now notice what he says. Huh? What verse are you in? 13. 13. Thank you. To we all, now notice, to we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God mm -hmm. unto a perfect man, mm -hmm. unto the measure and the stature of the fullness of Christ. Now, now, that's why he gave those gifts. And he gave it with the expectation that we all come to the unity of the faith. That we all become one in God, in Christ Jesus. Notice then, he says, and of the knowledge of the Son of God. The more you know about Jesus, the better off you are. Amen? Amen. You got to know what, what the hope is. Amen? You got to know what the love of Christ is. The breadth, the height, the depth. Amen? Last week, we said that to fully know all of that is unattainable. But he wants you to pursue it. Amen? He wants you to reach after it. He wants you to go after it. Amen? With all you got so that, so that you can know him uh, and the power of his resurrection. Amen. So you can know him and the fellowship of his suffering. And if if, if you got to uh, be made conformable unto his death by any means so that you can attain uh, from the to the resurrection of the dead. Amen? Hallelujah. That's some tall talk right there. Yes, it is. Thank you, Jesus. But he wants you to know that. Yeah. Don't be afraid of that. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. You know, one thing I think about Lazarus, I think about this, a thing that started hitting me in my mind just now, that Lazarus died, but he died with a hope. I believe that, because Martha said, Lord, if you wouldn't have been here, my brother would not have died. Jesus said he'll live again. And, 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 and Martha said, I know he will in the resurrection. Yeah, I believe that uh, 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 Lazarus had that same hope. You follow me? Uh -huh. And who showed up? Yeah. <laughs> the resurrection. Yeah. Uh, got him up off the grave. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Got him up. Hallelujah. Got him up off the ground. Hallelujah. Huh? If you go down with that same hope, what's going to happen to you? He going to get you up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then I think about Lazarus after he got up. Hallelujah. I believe that Lazarus, my God, he probably sat down in a chair 
And he said, I was dead, but now I'm alive. <laughs> How can I be dead and now I'm alive? Jesus <laughs> got me up. I was dead. I was dead, y'all. But now I'm alive. You saw me in the grave. You smelled me think stinking. But now I'm alive. Something about Jesus. Something about Jesus. Hallelujah. That's that hope. Amen. That's what we that's what we living for. Now, the reason why I said that in my conclusion, I, I said that to say this. Is that everything that we teach in here and have taught here and that we have read here in this Bible, you got to believe it. Yes, you Amen. do. Right. Amen. Yes, you do. To where it's, it's, it's not, how can I say, it? any doubt. No doubt. No doubt. And if there is doubt, you got to go back to the scriptures to remove all doubt. Then you got to pray. Say, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. That's it. Thank Because the unbelieving won't make it. The fearful won't make it. The fornicators won't make it. Amen? You got to say, Lord, I believe. Now, the reason why I said that, to say this, if you believe like that, it'll change your whole walk. Hallelujah. It'll change how you view Hallelujah. everything. Thank you, Jesus. Amen? Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says he hasn't given us the spirit of fear. Yeah. Uh, you can't be afraid of the ministry that God has given you. Uh, whatever God has given you is yeah. greater than you. Uh, he wants it to be greater than you so he can get all the glory. Yeah. So when he's laying it out before you, don't get fearful. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That come up shot. He'll show up. Huh? He'll show up just to say I'm with you. Uh, he'll show up to say I told you so. He'll show up so that when he manifests himself, everybody will believe and know. Hallelujah. That there is a God. Yes. Amen. Amen. When God brought Moses, uh, he told Moses, when I deliver you out of the land of Egypt, this is the sign that you shall know that you'll worship me in this wilderness. <laughs> Hallelujah. Whatever God does, the sign is he tells you something and he brings it to pass, it's a sign to you to know that God is with you. Yeah. Thank you Lord. How many things that God has spoke to you about? Thank you, Jesus. And has said to you huh, that I'm going to do this for you Hallelujah. and it has come to pass. Yeah. That's a sign to let you know yeah. that God is with you. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 He's with you. Yeah. Hallelujah. He's with you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Don't let the enemy steal that from you. Don't let the enemy steal your testimonies. Your testimonies are precious. Your testimonies are necessary. Because it reminds you of God. Uh, it reminds you of Him. Uh, it reminds you of the way maker. Uh, it reminds you of your very present help. Uh, and how that kind of Uh, don't let the enemy clog your mind. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Get you to thinking God can. When God said I can. Hallelujah. God want to do it through you. Amen. Tell yourself, God want to do it through me. Hey, hallelujah. You want to do it. Amen. He needs you. Don't think that God don't need you. People say that. God don't need me. Huh? God needs you. If he did, he wouldn't have took all the necessary things to bring you into existence and keep you alive. Don't think that you're invaluable. 
Huh? Yes. You're valuable. God needs you. Yes. Yes. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. You got, that's, that's the game changer. Yes. Uh, you got to think like that. Yes. Amen? Amen? You got to think, man, if I, if I don't go open up the doors of the church, nobody will. I better get on my job. Yes. Huh? If I don't if I don't preach this gospel, nobody will. I better preach this. I better preach this gospel. You follow me? Yeah. Whatever your assignment is, you got to say in your own mind, I'm necessary. Yeah. Amen. Huh? I'm essential. I'm an essential worker. <laughs> hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all with me? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Now I ain't talking about being puffed up. I ain't talking about having pride. Uh, uh, to where you be a mess. <laughs> uh, but I'm talking about you understanding that God God is the one that raised you. God is the one that kept you. God is the one that birthed you. God is the one that anointed you. God is the one that assigned you. Amen. And God doesn't make mistakes. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. My God. I feel like fighting now. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. This thing is real. Amen. So we certainly praise God for our Bible study on tonight. Amen. And we thank God that uh, he has anointed us uh, with the oil of gladness. And we pray that uh, all souls have gotten something out of our Bible study on tonight. And that we will continue to bless the Lord and magnify his holy name. Uh, right now, we're going to go into our area of giving. Um, you can give uh, physically or you can give through Tiger. Amen. And uh, just look under Christian Ministries of the Apostolic Faith Church. And as we come uh, here today, we certainly do thank God uh, for his glory. Amen. Minister Grady, could you just stand over here for just a second? Amen. We certainly thank God. Uh, for the glory and honor. Um, in Jesus' name, amen. Oh, 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 amen. In the corner, right there. Thank you. We thank God. In Jesus' name, amen.